Welcome to this short spiritual visit to Glastonbury Abbey. This weekend we would be preparing to travel to Glastonbury on pilgrimage to join our brothers and sisters in that holy place which brings us back year by year to place our time before God. It's not possible this year and for many reasons we'll be at home with our families, our friends and our communities. We will not travel but we will wait and prepare again for next year. Our life is a pilgrimage. We journey constantly towards our heavenly homeland. At times we find things run slow, things pause, sometimes the, the route ahead becomes unclear. Let us then pause at this time and spend a few minutes and ask for confidence, ask for courage from our Saviour to keep us secure on that path of pilgrimage through this land. And when we come to prepare to travel once again to Glastonbury in a year's time, our journey may be stronger in the knowledge of our Saviour's love, that our journey may be secure in his presence day by day, that our journey may bring us to those joys, to that extraordinary destination, more wonderful even than Glastonbury, to our eternal homeland, on our eternal pilgrimage. Merciful God, whose servant Joseph of Arimathea, with reverence and godly fear, prepared the body of our Lord and Saviour for burial and laid it in his own tomb, grant to us, your faithful people, grace and courage to love and serve Jesus with sin and devotion all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the intercession of Our Lady of Glastonbury bring rest to the pilgrim, comfort to the suffering, joy to the dot downtrodden, and hope at the last. Amen. Lord, you know our beginning and our end. Help us to realise we are only pilgrims of this, of this earth, and save us from being too attached to worldly possessions. May we experience the freedom to wander and freedom to hope and freedom to love as we journey on through Christ our Lord. <laughs>